Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today finally what we have here is the Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom Meta Build version so yeah as you guys can see this box is actually really massive I think it is smaller than the Destiny box art at the the previous release but nonetheless um, it still looks very huge so yeah basically you guys can see it's pretty difficult for me to fit the whole box inside here but yeah you guys can see it like that um, and by the way the box art looks really amazing again so yeah next here here is the side of the box here let me just hold on so yeah basically this is how the box art side here looks like and it's always amazing because Dragon Momoko always focus on the images here so yeah as if you guys I'm not sure you, yeah if you guys want to pause and read you guys can do so so I'm moving on next here you guys can see refocus again so yeah here is the stickers and then here is the weapons the dragoon system when all of it is released and then here is the wing effect part this one would be the paper light effect not the hard one so yeah here are basically all the weapons then at the top here is basically the huge dragon momoko line here and then now here is how the completed products will look like so yeah as you guys can see the top here looks um shiny go but then but we all know that um, the actual product, the gold, is not this kind of gold. So, yeah. Anyway, here's the back of it. Then here, again, if you guys want to read, you guys can read. So, I'm moving on. And then here, basically, just show you the details of the Strike Freedom. And then here, of course, you have the beam rifle. The two beam rifle, which... The two beam rifle, which then you can be connected into one long beam rifle. So, that's good. So, yeah, basically, that's it. And then, now, here oops as you guys can see this is the back of it zoom in version of the strike freedom looks really good so yeah as you guys can see the box inside there's actually nothing i took it out because when i was doing the inspection for the parts i sort of not sure why but it, it can't fit back into the box so yeah that's why and let me put this aside and then of course the first the very first batch premium you will get they give you this wing expansion part for free so yeah here it is and then this one um it will come with the effect part for the destiny for the dragon momoko as well so yeah i'll definitely clean the dragon momoko destiny and then i'll show you guys the wing effect part in the next review and then just for comparison for the box here is the heavy arms box so this is like top to top as let me just zoom out a bit for you guys so yeah as you guys can see this this how how huge the box is compared to your regular master grade so yeah let me just readjust back so basically that's it for now oops i'm sorry so yeah, up now we of course look in the parts for the Strike Freedom and see what it comes with. So yeah, welcome back. Now let's take a look at this part. So as always, the very first part you would see is the manual as I always look at it first. And now here are the parts. I've already removed the plastic. So yeah, now I just refocus. So of course the first part, take a look here, is the Strike Freedom stand here. So yeah, piloted by Kira Yamato. So basically this is just a rather simple one. And then here are all the transparent part. It will be used for the mounting on the detached dragoon system. And then here I would assume as well the extra parts. There's two transparent part here, sort of like a cylinder. And then next here we have the effect part here for the this I believe is the dragoon for the dragoons. I was I was almost trying to say it's for the beam saber. And then here you guys can see the shield effect. 
let's see here come with two with it so that's good here's the same so yeah and then now here we have the beam saber effect now we begin with the parts I've seen this part um, this part here this part here I believe would be the mounting on the dragon system as well so yeah you only have one for that next here we start off with the legs so this would be I I thought it would be A so yeah here just show you guys the head here and then here you guys can see the leg the details and then here from the back so yeah you have two of that now here is another one this part here a little bit detail to show you guys so yeah that's it and then here this big white piece would of course be the mounting on the stand here later on so stand here side and then now this part here is H part which is it looks like the legs as well as you guys can see there's already one part came off so yeah not really a good start to begin with anyway it's not a huge matter so I think and then here this part here would be mounting on the beam saber handle so yeah and then next here there's two of this so of course this would be for the side the beam cannon on the way section here so you guys can see sort of a little bit details here so yeah again there's nothing much let's put aside here and then now we have another blue piece as you guys can see this part here would be the base for the legs it's kind of small but yeah i'm not sure how it will end up later on and then here you have one individual white piece so again nothing much now here what we have here i would think it's for the beam rifle Is any detail to show you guys not really actually but yeah you can see inside here the neck here um can i focus please yeah you guys can see there's a lot of detail going on inside so yeah that's good to see then next here is the full black part um, a day detail this should be the back of the mobile suit and then here another black part this part I'm not sure where this, I know this part I recommend I mean I recognize this part would be the backpack this part here so yeah and then here of course the dragoon system the wings for the strike freedom let's just focus a little bit for you guys so yeah that's it and then now here there are three pieces here are they all the same no here is basically a big chunk of um same rep replicate of it and then here is the i think is the next for the complete of the dragoon system the strike freedom backpack oops now we have one red piece here so yeah not sure where is this and then next here we have another piece should be the wands for it so yeah now all the normal colors is done the one we've all been waiting for is this so-called gold color so yeah the poly cap here is of course gold color as well i'm not sure it's focused properly but yeah you guys can see here i touched the poly cap it's kind of loose so yeah better be careful with it then yeah here this part here of course is the dragon system I'm not really I'm not really sure if the camera is showing you the correct the color but this looks more like an orangey gold you know like it's not bright but yeah and then I'm not sure you guys can see you guys can see the gold color it's actually not not of the same color is some part of it is slightly darker but yeah nonetheless still there 
Next year we have the leaks. Inner frame for the leaks. Again, it looks kind of shiny due to the sunlight in my room. Let's I try to close it a little bit. And then now here is another poly cap. So yeah, I think now it shows perfectly the color that I wanted you guys to see. Now here are all the hands that it comes with. So yeah, let me just choose the fist one, close fist. Here it is. You guys can sort of see the detail of it. So yeah, basically here are all fixed hands already. You do not have the movable hands. So yeah, here and here the final piece here. This part here would be used on the refin. So yeah, just like that. And finally, we will look at the stickers here. Lots of gold stickers, not a good thing to see. But yeah, what can you do? So yeah, basically here. Then you have one, the shield effect. I have one, oops, sorry. I have one as well for from the Destiny Dragon Momoko. Then yeah, here is another huge paper like wing effect. There's actually more this time. There's I saw there's one small piece here. Yeah, one small piece here, and then one there's two the big one. And then the other side, I don't see any there's one small piece inside here, this part. So yeah, so there's four pieces, so that's good. So anyway, that's it now for this the unboxing here we'll take a look at the menu next and then we will finish off with the expansion unit very soon so let me just put back everything inside then i'll get back to you guys so yeah now we'll look at the manual so of course the very first page you have the strike freedom the very standard dragon momoko style for the manual and here you guys can see the art for it once it is completed Looks, I mean, by the looks of it, of course, it looks amazing, but st I'm still kind of disappointed with the gold color, the choice that it chose to go with. But yeah, that's it. that's just how it is. Now here, let me just zoom, I mean, focus properly. Can you guys read? So yeah, you guys want to read, you guys can pause. Three, two, one. Okay. So next year, as you guys can see, the part counts. There are a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So yeah, there are a total of 37 parts for you. Considering the price that I pay, if this were to be a Bandai kit, I think I need to pay 500 ringgit for it. <laughs> but yeah, here you guys can see just the construction for everything. Here are the hands of course, top body. The one that I'll be doing first, as always, is the legs. And yeah, let me see the joint connector first. The connector to the waist, where is it? Okay, this time I think it's a different one. So that's good to see, rather than the previous strike one that was really bad. And then here you guys can see it, sort of the movement that you can do with it. Now here is of course the beam rifle that you can connect it later on. Then here is the beam saber and then here the movement here. It would be cool if I can try this later on. And now here we'll be doing the backpack, the wing for it. It's almost like reading a storybook. <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless, let's go. And then the final piece here is of course the mounting onto the the base for the Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom. Here they show you guys the wing effect part rather than the hard wing effect part, the expansion unit. 
so yeah here is the sticker guide as you guys can see then the back here the completed product I'm surprised they never show us the the putting on the normal one but yeah here this this post looks awesome it's sort of like when Setsuna saw the zero what's it called what Gundam is that zero eight I'm not sure but yeah and then here is the wings expansion for it and then here the, is the one for the um, destiny so yeah that's it it's done the whole strike line all the variation for the strike line it's out we have the strike freedom now we have the destiny we have the perfect strike for it already so yeah expect this review to be done maybe out in february due to um chinese new year so on and so forth but yeah right now we look at the final piece let me move this aside which is the wing effect expansion so yeah let me just put this strike freedom aside and i'll get back to you guys so yeah now we look at this final piece the premium set sort of like the for the first batch pre-order so yeah basically it's just normal strike freedom wing expansion designed for skill 1 to 100 so yeah if you guys have bought like the normal destiny bandai and you guys want a wing effect you guys can get this as well i've not opened this yet to check it out so this will be the first time for me looking with you guys so yeah here are all the parts that it comes with there is some paper here and there's still some more stuff so yeah now let's take a look accordingly so for the very first part here we have this cool black and red color part seat destiny here piloted by Shin Asuka so yeah it's basically almost the same just that it's black I should probably take out the other one but yeah and then now here of course is the strike freedom ring effect look at this detail this is actually amazing I mean the actual reason why I I mean I got I pre-ordered the Tapan one but um, I don't plan on getting Tapan version for the wing effect because if of this you have basically four of these as well so basically you can apply this to the Tapan one so yeah there's really no point for me buying the Tapan wing effect expansion as well this is like a longer version of it just here's for the size and length comparison so yeah this strike freedom one now what we have here as well is the destiny one as well okay they actually gave us a total of four that's kind of cool i mean you can put maybe can put maybe two red two blues okay, that's, that's really kind of cool to be honest i'm sorry for the fanboy sheets now here this sticker i don't know what's this sticker for but yeah and then basically this part inside as well same as the white piece we'll be constructing for the base but this thing i don't know what this is for so yeah we'll put this aside and then now like i say now i think this should be the manual for the construction i don't know why is it called new project <laughs> sounds kind of funny but yeah and then here is just a huge piece it should be the other way around of looking it so yeah it should be this side first so you open it and of course the construction here you will have the connector for the strike i mean seat i mean destiny gundam ah, my words then now here destiny wing of light here they are teach oh this part here is to put on the effect for the destiny effect part so yeah that's good to see and then here is the large piece one now here is the remaining part it says a different pattern here you can open up and then next here it shows you how you can move on the stand so yeah this basic look looks amazing now this part of course would be the strike freedom strike freedom i'm sorry so yeah here of course will be the parts if you were to buy the expansion now here 
here's the part counts so yeah now they teach you how to mount on as well here you have the soft the I think that's that's what for the paper like for for this effect part here I will be mounting on depends on see which one looks better later on so yeah here's the long one and here would be the putting on the dragoon system here to teach you how you have to put on some extra part for you to connect then here then here's the dragoon system so yeah basically that's it for the full unboxing for the dragon momoko strike freedom and the wing expansion um extra pack so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this um this quick unboxing with me if you guys have enjoyed it please don't forget to drop a like down below and leave a comment if you have anything you want to ask me and if you haven't subscribed to me please do not forget to subscribe to me because this review will be coming out very soon and then after that i will have the tapan coming up for the unboxing as well very soon then we'll be able to make a comparison between the two so yeah until then i hope you guys have a good day and yeah i'll see you guys soon in another video of mine very soon